bitch, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the hood, out the hood, out the hood. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came from our man, forget my peace. Go take the west side, take out the east. I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the spot. I am planning a nice video with my sir on and I'm going to do a versus video when I get my brand new RC car. So it's going to be three first scale RC cars versus the sir on. Let me know if you want to see a video of the RC cars versus my insane 5600 watt 13 inch electric scooter, the Mankill X5 or our TNE Q4 V6 which is a 3600 watt electric scooter. Alright guys, so let me know. But I know exactly why you guys are here today and that is to see this new RC car that I received guys. It's a 110 scale Dodge Challenger lookalike I believe it is. Um, it's a Hellcat and I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to get it out. Oh damn, you guys shouldn't be seeing that, that box. There it is guys, look at that. So that is the brand new Panther, that's what they call it. And it's from H&R guys, and this came all the way from AliExpress. And I'm super excited. So let's quickly look at the box guys. Firstly, 56 mile per hour, sorry, 56 plus mile per hour it reckons it will get. It's a brushless powered system guys, ready to run touring car. And there you can see is the code for those of you that want to look it up. Right, but I've got this color, <laughs> the red one, guys, and I just feel that is the color that it should be in. All right, so let's really look at some of the stuff here. They say it's got a gyroscope and it's got a 3300 kV brushless electric motor, guys. Even speeds beyond 100 kilometers per hour, it could be easily controlled, and that's probably because they say it's got a gyro. Now, if this car does not reach 100 kilometers per hour, I am sending it back. To Aliexpress. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so do not use this product if you are below 14 years old. All right, guys, anything else? Oh, okay, let's quickly look at it on this side. So, there's the two colors you get. You've got a couple of lights as well. It looks good. Um, all right, guys, so there I'm just going to scan all of the technical babble here. You can on your own pause the screen if you want to see anything. That is written here, guys. Right. Thicker back wheels than front wheels, which is great. Got a hobby wing system, guys. Metal gears in the servo there. Willful shocks. Awesome. All of those kind of jazz, guys. More technical babble. I've got the red. Thank you for that shop, man. Thank you. <laughs> right. And here is a little bit more technical babble. Should you want that? I've been on the road, I've been doing shows, now we... And yeah, I've moved this bad boy to here. For some reason, I've been keeping it up there, where the X-Max is, but it's the heaviest car I've got. So I've always been struggling to get it down from the 15 kg, so it has moved to right here, guys. And these are the brand new batteries for my brand new 5th scale RC vehicle that's still on the way in the post. Alright, but anyway, let's look at this. Alright. Okay, so let's back it out. Alright guys. Okay, I haven't seen this one before. We've got a plastic wheel, no foam on it unfortunately. But it's really got good tension on the throttle here, and there's also good tension on the actual wheel. Four channel. Yep, looks like a four channel radio, guys. And I'm guessing those channels will be to actually handle the lights. Let's take this sticker off. Thing here, if you want to put a lanyard, guys, onto the controller. Right, but yeah, it does look like we've got actually a couple of nice modes in there but i'll open it up guys and i'll show you check it out guys oh guys look at that what push it to the limit i can't go no more red light no way i'm coming back home long 
Quad exhaust pipes. Oh, this is disappointing, guys. Do you see that? I've already got a crack in the body. That's probably because of transport. I can see that it needs to be over that little piece of diffuser there. It's disappointing. But check it out, guys. How good does that look? Got a little shark fin aerial there. And you've even got side mirrors. Alright guys, that's absolutely gorgeous. You see I've got some missing paint here as well. And again guys, this is probably because of the shipping from China and AliExpress. But I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So this is a challenge, hey. For all you Americans. Oh, it's actually showing a Hellcat there. And then it's showing a demon there. I see that. So what is it? A Hellcat or a demon? Demon or a Hellcat? I don't know. But it looks bloody awesome, guys. Okay, guys. So first, let's look at the wheels. So it's very hard plastic, guys. Definitely drift wheels. Um, they are barely punched. Yeah, no, nah, they aren't. They literally are hard plastic. So you get four of those, which is nice for drifting. Can't wait to drift that bad boy. Right, guys, and then you've got your sway bar thingies and a couple of spaces, like I said earlier. Now, let's look at the manual. Now, this manual, oh, everything is in English, which is good. Tells you whatever needs to be in there. All right, oh, what does it say here? Does it need oil? You should check your shocks for adequate liquid after each day of running. Alright, that's interesting. Even tells you about the gear mesh clearance. Very interesting. Alright guys, so this is good detail. Okay. Bobby Wing ESC guys. So it's a 60 amp and it's good for 4 to 9 cells NIMH or 2 to 3 S LiPo. Alright, great. Alright guys, so there's the DVC trim that they are talking about. That's probably the gyro eh? setting. Okay, this is very interesting guys. I can't wait to see how that gyro is going to work. Okay, and then you've got steering trim, throttle trim, throttle dual rate and steering dual rate. Which is good so you can check the sensitivity. And there's a nice setup of how everything is guys. I'll show you the light scheme inside just now. Right guys, more info, parts, really nice. Right, so there's a lot of information. Guys, this is a really good manual. It also tells you what is the part numbers for if you need to order something. Just put it on AliExpress and get the parts ordered. Very nice. Right, and everything in English, guys. Perfect. Right, now let's look at the controller. So there is um, the five channel controller guys as you need to know three and four is on the top there and you've got five inside all right power button um it takes four batteries guys double a which i'm going to install now it's the four double a's is installed all right so that's nice guys flashing all right so there you can see guys are trying to find the vehicle obviously but that's good that's a really nice looking remote guys and it's extremely comfortable i'm really surprised at how comfortable this controller is in the hand really impressive right let's look at the car come to pop up <laughs> all right guys so there's the body and as you can see there is the lights for the lightning system i can't wait to see it i'll show you guys soon you've got rear lights and you've got front lights there Guys, look how clean this setup is. It's incredibly clean. You've got really, really, incredibly nice feeling tires. I just don't know how long they are going to be lasting. Um, when you give it a nice rip on 3S, according to it, with reaching that 56 mile plus per hour speed rating. <laughs> but it's really nice. It fits so grippy. Incredibly grippy. Um, look how nice this clean this setup is, guys. Look at that. It's just incredible, hey, it's got a hobby wing, uh, 365 to 3300 kV brushless motor, but look how clean everything is. Wow, guys. This bumper doesn't really 
feel too strong but i'm guessing that is to absorb some of the impact if you ever have it got adjustable turnbuckles here guys everything is plastic though all right okay so shocks zero bounce back guys really nice this is a nice battery bay so um just want to check quickly so it flicks out oh look at this guys how clean is that setup everything plastic guys so it should have a lot of absorption on impact the battery tray isn't very thick as you can see guys you're not going to fit a proper size 3S LiPo in there, which is a pity. I don't know if I've got 3S LiPo batteries that's that thin. Gonna have to check. There you can see, guys, there's a servo saver. Can I see that? So the battery tray is not too thick, guys. I would probably. So there's my finger, probably about. Yeah, it's not, it's not a lot. Rear diffuser, guys, everything is plastic. Alright guys, I think this thing is going to rip. See, there you can see the actual drive shaft is in there guys, and it's kept in place by some of your grub screws. Alright, so there's a front diff, a rear diff as well. Alright guys, so this is quite interesting. It's got metal dog bones, but it doesn't have CVDs in the front or the rear. It's all... What is that? Is that CVDs? I'm not too sure. On and off button, guys. And then you've got the Velcro strip on the side here, which actually holds on the body. That's going to be awesome for those speedrun sessions, guys. I think this is going to be a very nice platform for speedruns. I don't know, you guys, experts must tell me, is this going to be a nice platform for speedruns? Everything is just so clean. Wow, guys, incredible. I'm quickly going to try to find a battery that I can slam in here and just quickly see how the lights look. All right, guys, so this is the only 3S battery that I think is going to fit into this vehicle, if I reckon the thickness of it. So let's quickly put it in and check. stiff fit there all right guys very good speed on the actual server look at that what? jeez guys It's incredible guys it expanded so much of keeping it in the air that it actually started to chew on the chassis look at that I just saw it now guys <laughs> right so this car should be kept on the road I wonder if this is gonna cause a problem I wonder if this is going to be causing a problem on the speed if this is actually gonna break it because as you can see guys it's quite close to the chassis there and that's probably something that can just be cut off but are you going to lose strength on the chassis? I don't know. I don't know if that's maybe a flaw in the design. It's not touching the rear diffuser though. But yeah, it's definitely touching the front of the chassis here on the back wheels. The front wheels are totally free, guys. No issues there. Guys, I just saw something now. Is this because of the gyro? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Why is it doing this? Why is the wheels turning? must be because of the gyro I, I i've got absolutely no idea so please just let me know guys i just took it for a rip and let me tell you you do not want to miss the ripping video coming soon guys if you like this video please give it a like and also guys if you have not done so please consider subscribing to the channel i'm jonathan from tech space and thank you for watching guys we'll see you in the next one